Okay, this how-to video is going to go through some of the uh, additional features that Cadence have introduced at version 16.6 for, for shapes, for circles, and for changing classes and subclasses of items. So, legacy means when we, we get a shape and rectangular, we had a, a rectangular shape and, and we have to kind of, if we wanted something with a radius or a chamfer, we'd have to draw that manually. And now you've had the, have the functionality to add that automatically. So if we go to the shape rectangle, you now see I've got some some additional features in the options menu. So we'll start off. Um, let's just add a let's add a, a shape on on its top dynamic piece of copper. You can pick the dynamic you could normally, and we can still draw a rectangle or we can place a rectangle. You can specify the specific sizes. So I don't know. Let's have uh, 150 by 200, and I get that kind of that default rectangle that I can just literally go and place lots of these down. If I come back to this option. That's with an orthogonal base corner. I can add a chamfer base corner based on, on the explicit length of the of, of the trim or T, or I can add the chamfer, or I can add a percentage of the short edge. So you've got different options for how you want to do this. So we'll, we'll start off with, with just the T, um, and you can see I, I, I get a default chamfer there. Um, let's add a chamfer, and what we'll do is we'll make this 25, and you'll see it calculates the alternative one, so we, we can go along and do these. If we go and change this to, to a round, same kind of functionality, we're going to get a round base corner. Let's make this one uh, 30, and it will just calculate these. So once I've done these, I can now hover over any of these shapes in the general application mode, the general edit mode, and I've got this expand contract functionality. Again, similar to the way that the, the expand and contract works in the place replicate. Um, we can actually increase this by a set amount, decrease it, and you'll see obviously the shapes will change depending on which has the priority. And this, this works obviously for, for the, the chamfer corners, so we can do an expand contract on that, and we, we again would increase and reduce the size of, of a, a, a chamfered or a radius based corner. <coughs> Another one of the functions that they've added is, is the ability to add a circle. So, add in a circle, pretty straightforward. We can go and pick the layer that we want to add this onto. Let's just do an assembly notes. I can again draw a circle, same way I used to be able to, place a circle based on the specific radius that we have, and add multiple ones of those. Or I can add the center and radius, and I can either pick the, the center point, and then either create based on the radius that I say here, so let's do a 75 and then hit create, and I would then create the radius. Once that's done, changing a, a, the diameter or the radius of a circle, hover over the radius or, or, or the diameter of the circle, right mouse button, and we can change arc center, which would then give us the ability to kind of just drag it around to where we want it to, or we can hover over and then change the radius and type in the specific amount. So if we want to decrease that to 75, we can. You'll also notice when I hover over one of these, I've now got a right mouse button and I can change class and subclass. So I can literally go to any layer that I want. So this is on board geometry assembly note. So let's go to etch top, for example. That's now gone on the edge top, and I can also now go change width to make it 30. So there's a lot more functionality available from the right mouse button.